All right, so welcome to Photoshop. So today I'm going to uh, go over blackout portraits. And you can really do these for any sort of animal or anything that you want. Um, but I'm going to show you how. So there's a couple things that are key. So this is the inside of the area where they keep the animals. This is kind of blocking them off this chain where you can't get out. And the reason I shot them there is because I just want the sun to be hitting the animal, not the background. Now, I just did this quickly. Normally, I would take this off and uh, try to get the animal without uh, the harness on. Um, or if you do, to put like a nice leather one on works as well. Um, most of the rest of the stuff you can see we can clone out and get rid of. But this will give you the gist or the idea. If you have a big horse, it's usually best like I'll open this gate up and put the back end of the horse there or the part that I want to be darker and then have the horse kind of come out and where the light just uh, hits them and illuminates them. That's kind of the way it works the best. So um, basically the trick with these is to have as black of a background as possible. Now obviously you can come in here and make it black but we'll show you. So the first step I did was I kind of cloned um, most of that chain and all that information um, that I wanted to get rid of. All right. So then I'm starting to come in with a, a curves level. And so what I did here in this curves level is I'm just starting to, you know, uh, light, I lightened up the image of the horse. So that's kind of all I was doing there. I lightened up the horse there. And then I was working on that. I just sort of darkened this. And this is all sort of just basic toning. So now I'm illuminating this to get it uh, uh, a little more highlight on the uh, mane of the horse. And now I'm starting to darken it out. So you can see here, this is where I'm going to start to blend and get rid of the background. So you can see I made a curves adjustment layer. <clears throat> And all I'm really doing is just starting to darken out the back area of that horse. So I'm just taking that brush and darkening it out. And then here I'm just darkening that out a little bit more. And here I made sort of a vignette. All right. So I'm sort of vignetting it. So we're just isolating this head so it sort of floats. And you can already start to see the contrast of the animal. So here I've turned it to black and white, but what I did um, is you can see I've only done it at 62%. So I kind of have that sort of, uh, just because the color of his fur, it looks sepia, but I'm only, uh, re I switch it to black and white, but we're letting some of that color come through. All right, and then you can see in this curves level adjustment, I've gone in and actually lighten that area so if i come here and i'm gonna hit command g which is to group so you can see the difference really all blackout portrait is is darkening the area that you don't want and you don't even have to use an adjustment brush like um if you wanted to come in there uh right here and just literally take black now this doesn't work the best for everywhere but if you wanted to literally just black areas out as well too it's essentially doing the same sort of thing you're just making areas that you don't want to see dark and areas that you want to see you're lightening those up so that is how you get a blackout portrait in Photoshop like I said um, let me go to this in photo mechanic you can see here where I move the horse Oh, we or she were out shooting and then I move that horse so I have that dark background that really makes life easy especially if you have a barn where you can put half the horse in the barn and there's no light and then the rest of the horse you stick in where the Sun is just hitting them and I would say if you want to uh, illuminate a horse's eye you really want to kind of shoot them either in sunrise or sunset. And that really has to do with any animals. When you get sun coming straight down, the sun basically gets blocked off and makes their eyes dark. So one of the key is having kind of that lower sun lower in the horizon that makes it come out and work a lot better. So 
Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little something. If you have any comments or questions, leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.